Hey guys, what's up? Um, back with it. Just thought I'd hit you with another video. Um, this is the Chewy VIA and Windows 10 Part 2 video. Um, there is a Part 1, and I will link that in the description here. And I will link Part 2 in the description there. Um, anyway, just to recap, I don't want to spend too much time on um, what I did was... Okay, we... um upgraded to Windows 10 and you can see the new login screen that's a that's pretty cool there you know okay and then uh oh wow wrong password okay so then um, there's the new Windows 10 login screen you can see that it's pretty cool you know they got a cool little um little uh, like window 3d window thing going on there okay and um Last time, anyway, we were talking about some of the new features. I'll show you how I went ahead and um, upgraded, actually. And one of the things I didn't show in the last video was, okay, um, you know, this is like your Metro View, kind of reminiscent of the Windows 8 thing there. You got the Metro View, or um, the tiles. Um, you pull out here, it looks like, yeah, and then see this menu comes up. This is new in Windows 10, and... Um, You'll notice it don't have any of my desktop icons. It's just tiles. It doesn't have any of my, uh, I guess you could say my panel uh, icons, taskbar icons down there. But if you hit tablet mode, you'll see that right there. Then look what happens. It rearranges it. It um, it almost like puts your the tiles or whatever you could say the metro tiles that were outside of this um, start menu button. It puts them in the menu button and then it puts your uh your taskbar slash panel icons back so that's pretty cool and then to get out of that you just hit that and um there you go but yeah to recap um you know i upgraded to windows 10 this is the chewy vi8 dual boot um operating system tablet it comes with android 4.4 i believe and windows 8.1 dual bootable um I took the plunge to Windows 10. I didn't do a full clean install. My Windows 8.1 partition was pretty clean, so I just went ahead and upgraded. Um, the way I did that was there's a registry hack floating around there. Um, if you'll see this, it says update. You know, I'll go ahead and click it. Okay, update Windows 10 registry. There we go. Do you want to? Okay, you know, registry editor, and then of course, of course. You know, I take no responsibility for any damage caused to your tablet done with this. But if you follow the instructions, it's a, it should be pretty easy. So, you know, I went ahead and, um, yeah, I went ahead and ran the the update Windows 10 registry hack there. I'm not even sure if I had to do that. And then once I did that, I downloaded my appropriate Windows 8 uh, updates that were left. I resetted my tablet, and then, you know, I got the little Windows icon, get Windows 10 in the corner. Um, you would click that. It would say, notify me when ready. Okay, you click that. But then what I had to do was I went to the control panel, and I went to um, updates manually. And in the updates manually, there was, you know, it said Windows 10 upgrade or update or something like that. It was grayed out. Um, but there was a little phrase like and it was highlighted in blue you know where you could click it it said something to the effect of if you want to install this install from the desktop or this can only be installed from the desktop so i clicked that it brought me to this desktop and that was in um you know in windows 8 and then the a little box popped up like when you do your upgrades manually the little little um, dialog box and then it said windows 10 upgrade and i just went ahead and did that and it went through the upgrade process, you know, um, had the little circle and it was saying how much it was done. And then it went to like, I think it's a setup assistant screen, you know, um, hi, welcome. But this was all in Chinese. So, you know, it was after that, I had to go ahead and go down here. And remember, we're in a Chinese menu, had to go to settings. And then, you know, this was all Chinese. I had to go here and then. You know, I, I do have my laptop has Windows 10, so I was trying to follow it. I went there, and then, you know, options, I think, because that was the only one highlighted, actually, too. And then I click that, and then, and then I think it showed where, like, there was, you know, English language packs for me to download and install. And um, I went ahead and did that. And then after that, I think it was um right here, country or region. At first, it was all Chinese writing, and then 
once I downloaded the English packs or whatever, it must have actually put the English language on um, my machine because then it was English, but it wasn't actually United States. It was something like Liechtenstein or something like to that effect. And then I chose United States, and then everything else was just easy to read and change to um, the appropriate setting. But yeah, on this part two video, you know, I pretty much summed up uh, everything in part one. I just wanted to show what I had actually what I had actually missed in um what I had actually missed in the part one video <clears throat> was where okay, I had the tiles, you know, and we just click that, and then you know this stuff would show up, but I didn't actually show how to get to uh, tablet mode. Like, see if you click that. Then look, it, if you click tablet mode button, it puts you back into this screen where, you know, like, I don't know if you'd call this tile mode or metro interface mode or, you know, or what. But yeah, that that's last time, you know, I didn't show that and that that's easily accessible by dragging over here. And then you could see if you click tablet mode again, it'll rearrange things and then it'll bring back your little, uh, your taskbar panel icons and it'll stuff your, uh, metro tiles or widgets or whatever you want to call them in your uh, windows start menu and then you know you got your certain categories there if you click your all apps category